Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a digital artist and today I will show you how to draw this hungry raccoon by using Drawing Desk app. So please follow with me in all my steps in order to finish this cute illustration and if you like the tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's start going to sketch desk. I will start doing a new layer here in the layer tool, drawing layer, and using basic shapes, in this case a circle. I will place it in the middle to do the head, and by using the liner brush I will stamp it. You can also do the contour to do the shape. Now I will make the union between them using this bigger brush. Then I will use another shape, yes, this one. It's a bit more rounded in the corners. And I will place the ears, more or less. Sorry, we have now this brush, so the stamp is bigger. I prefer the liner brush. And then you can also use this tool to fill everything in. To finish the shapes appropriately, I will use the bigger brush. And now I will also, using the pencil, I will do kind of some hair here. Yeah. Nice. Now, to finish in this layer, I will do two small circles down here to do the legs. We go to the, to the layers and we create a new layer on top. I will use a lighter color and I will start doing the, sh the face. Now I will do a new layer and I will use the circle Let's go to the feet. I will do a new drawing layer and I will place it on top of the, um, of the full body. I will use this new color and I will use this shape.
will do a new layer, a new drawing layer, and we will do using a pinkish color. Let's do the inner part of the toes and the feet. Now I will go also for the ear. I will use this bigger brush, maybe a bit smaller. You can touch the size whenever you want. And then we will do the inner part of the ear. Now Let's go doing a new layer, placing it on the bottom of the body. You can just select the colors that you have here. In this case, I want this gray. And I will use again the ellipse to do the tail. Perfect. Now, let's, on the top of everything, on all the layers, let's make a new drawing layer and I will use this triangle again to do here, stamp and drag in. And then let's do a new layer on top of this one and place it a little bit more here and again stamp and drag the color in. And on the other layer here and with this color I will just um, make the union between both layers to make it feel like one. In a new layer on top, I will place circles that will just make this cheese super yummy. place the arms just um, here on top of this one you have to really order your your um, layers appropriately because if not you will be uh, putting on top things that you don't want to so I will go again to this color and in this case I will use this color Hmm. Like I'm not seeing what I'm doing now because the colors are the same. So I will do lock alpha on this layer and I will paint it a bit darker. This. Just to see what I'm drawing on. Sorry. Just be sure that you are in the appropriate layer. Now we will be able to see what's going on on top. The 
will be on top of the cheese because they will be grabbing the cheese. I will use this color right here and I will um, use the shapes again. Yes, placing it just right here. So that's stamp on one arm and then the other, a stamp and drag the color in, in this case with this tool again. Now using the pencil I will do the fingers. I will make it a smaller this in size like this and then I will try to make four pointy fingers like they are his grasp grasping To the head. Let's do a new layer on top. We will do in this case three layers, three different drawing layers. One, two and three. I will show you why. Because I will use the same shape for different layers. So first let's place the eye here. Yes less like this and I will use this white here and I will do one stamp and I will go to the top layer and with black I will do another stamp now you will have to take the layers really 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 under control I will go to the other part of the face take again the white and doing the stamp Then I will go to the upper layer, taking the black and doing the stamp. Perfect. Now I will drag the white in, like this. Perfect. And in this upper layer I will do kind of eyelashes. Now, on the middle, let's do again the lips. Now we will go again to the black layer where we had the line and we will place the pupils in black again with a pen. Stamp and stamp and drag the color in again now she's starting to have expression right so let's create a new layer on the bottom of these three layers i'm oh, sorry a drawing layer and using this color right here and again this ellipse shape Let's make it the stamp. Nice. I will go again to the black layer and place the nose, the small black nose here. And in the white layer I will again do this ellipse here 
and I will use this brownish color and do the contours again. And now fill the layer side in. So you can do it in separate layers if you want. Now, okay, so let's start just um, locking alpha our our layers because when you lock alpha you can paint only on, on the um, painted area so now I want to do the tongue so I will do as you can see I'm locked alpha this layer the one that has the mouth so now I only paint on this layer and with this you can start doing all the um, the the shadows for the shadows i will use this brush which is kind of a spray and as you can see when we just go to the appropriate layer i can start doing this log alpha again and I will use this bigger brush and go to a really light color and now on top I will do some shadows with this brush the spray just like this Finally, let's go to do the log alpha on the pinkish zones. We'll go to the bottom layer just to place the background here. We will use more or less like here. We'll use a lighter color, we'll stamp the color in and then by using log alpha and a darker tone with a spray let's do some shadows just to make it on the floor with the shadows yeah finally just the final touch I always like to do is create a new drawing layer using a sorry a very very white color and a smaller size let's do the final touch of the eyes it makes it like shiny and also a bit of dropping saliva like this now now it's finished Hope you like it.